Wow, I am back. It has been months since I posted a video on my channel and here I am. I am still kicking. I am still alive. <laughs> if you follow our other channel, you'll know that we've been very busy with runs and I haven't really been doing much on my channel. Um, well, I haven't been doing much in drive away, so that's why I haven't really been posting anything on my channel. Um, if you don't follow us on my other channel, I'll give you like an update of what's been going on. We currently live in a fifth wheel, uh, Coachman Chaparral, sorry, Cody's going nuts and <laughs> he just hit my butt. <laughs> Whenever he hears the GoPro, he gets excited. <laughs> we live in a 2008 Coachman Chaparral, fifth wheel. This is my kitchen back here. We have um, the bedroom in the front or the back, you could say, either or. And we're in Florida and we love it. <laughs> I am still very nervous filming by myself, so please bear with me. Um, I haven't done any runs. I think I've done like probably three runs since like the last video you guys have seen, like all together, three runs. Uh, me personally, I don't see any money in drive away. Um, I think it was my second run or my first run that I did. They give you 50% up front, and then once you drop it off, they give you another, like, they give you an advance of your, like, total run. So, I believe I brought it to Jersey or PA, and if Sean wasn't with me doing a run, I literally would have been, legit would have been stuck where I was at. I was spending that half that they gave me for the run, I was legit spending that half that they gave me all on gas. And... You shouldn't be doing that when, you know, Sean does tow away now. So when we get that 30% advance, he's not spending all that in gas. So I shouldn't have been spending that much in gas. So all that money that they gave me for like, you know, the advance, that half, went all towards gas and I wasn't even fully at my destination yet. So imagine if Sean wasn't with me and I was like legit stuck. You're always supposed to have backup money too. Like, uh, I don't know if Classic wanted it, but I know for other companies they want you to have like a thousand credit, that way if anything was to happen. But either way, I shouldn't have had to touch that. That should have been for emergencies and yeah. Long story short, I don't do that anymore. I do have to return my plates. I've been procrastinating. <laughs> um, I have to return my binder that they give me and my plates. And it's up in Indiana and I'm in Florida. So yeah, I still have to do that. I don't know when I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I was at the post office, I think, yesterday, two days ago, and I still haven't sent it. And I told them too that I was sending it, but even though I told them I'm sending it, I'm still like keeping up with my logs. I, even though I don't do any, you know, I don't do anything every week, I still sign it and send it in. That way, you know, I don't get in trouble or anything. But till I send them my plates back and they actually receive it, I still update my logs. And I can go into that into another video if you guys wanna know about that. Um, I'm trying to see what else. I have a huge garden outside. <laughs> I love plants. I love growing stuff. So if you guys want to see a video of that, I can show you that. I was, I'll try to show you that. There's always people outside. So <laughs> if I show you and I'm, you know, a little, it's so nervous. And then you know, people are like, he's dropping. I don't like that. But yeah, that's it basically. Um, I did lose RV, we did lose my mom. You guys saw that video. Yeah, that happened in December, so you can go back to our other page and you know do that. Um we still have Cody. <laughs> if you follow our other channel, you'll see that. He's still crazy, he's still nuts. Um lately we've been hanging down in Florida, so if you guys want to see like more like home videos with RVing, I can do that. I can show you like stuff that I, how I organize and stuff like that. We full time here, so we're stationary. So all this stuff that's on the counter loose like that, what's nice about being stationary is that I can have stuff like this all on my counter. If you're not stationary, you don't wanna get all this crap that's on your counter and have to put it away. So I can show you like, you know, what I have and like what I recommend, how I store things. I like keeping everything organized. The kitchen is always this clean, so don't think that I only did it for the video. I like my kitchen clean. So right now I'm at the table, and then we have over, I could do a tour too. We have a tour on our other video, but if you want like a more in-depth 
like a tour and I can show you like how I organize my clothes if you're interested in seeing that how I organize my purses I can show you that too I can show you my plants I got a lot of plants inside I got a lot of plants outside Sean said soon you won't even be able to see the RV good nobody needs to see what I'm doing it's a jungle <laughs> I did just order um, a greenhouse it's just a little, you know, a little something. It's not like a walk-in. I can't have that. <laughs> I can't have a full-grown greenhouse at my RV spot. But you know, it's cute. It's I have seed starts that, um, what did I do? I did, I didn't label the cups. So I'm growing tomatoes. I don't know what kind, but I'm growing tomatoes. We did onions. Those are growing pretty quick. Yesterday I did cucumbers, sweet corn. Yeah, sweet corn. Uh, yeah, I'm in an RV spot and I'm, <laughs> and I'm, starting corn from seed you can container garden it that's what i'm doing i'm container gardening everything i don't have anything in the, in the ground because we don't plan even though we're stationary we don't want to be like stationary like stationary we do want to be able to like leave whenever we want so if i have all these plants in the ground i'm going to have to leave them here and i really don't want to have to do that we do have a banana tree yeah if this video is all over the place i'm sorry and it's getting pretty big i'm waiting for it to just bust through the pot but I am container gardening I have the greenhouse for my seed starts because this Florida heat is brutal and with all the like um, bugs and stuff getting into stuff I mean so far I've had like luck well actually no my basil I just, <laughs> it's gone it, I don't know what happened a caterpillar was going at it I got the caterpillar off. I brought the basil in here, hoping that maybe being in here would be better for it. And it went into complete shock. Basil is very, for me, basil is very hard to take care of. They are very fragile. So yeah, that completely died. I have it outside back where it was at. Good luck for the caterpillar to bite any leaves on that because there's no leaves on it. It's dried, it's dead. I don't know why I'm even trying to bring it back to life. But yeah, it's just, it's, I have to, if you guys want to see a tour, I'll show you it. It's legit a brown stick in dirt. That's what it looks like. <laughs> it doesn't even look like basil. I should just give up and just start from seed. But I haven't had, the only time I had luck was when we had that piece in MO, that property in MO. It was really thriving. It was great. And then, yeah, and then figures now. It's... <laughs> So with the Florida heat, a lot of my plants are under my cap for the front, like the overhang, where your fifth wheel hitch is at. A lot of my plants are under there because, you know, it's hot down here and it's brutal with the sun on it. The leaves tend to dry. I never water my plants during the day. I always do it at night because if you do it during the day and you get like water on a leaf, that's it, you're gonna burn the leaf or you're gonna burn uh, your tomatoes, like if you wanna grow those. But yeah, so my tomatoes, I don't know which ones they are, and I put three seeds in it because just in case if like, two, you know, one doesn't sprout, at least I have two. So yes, yeah, so all, no, I put, I swear I think I put three seeds in, but I have four stems coming in. And they're all on top of each other, so yeah. So that's fun. So now I have to separate each one and put them in their own little red cup. That's what I put them in. My seeds go into a red cup, like, you know, the ones you, when you play a little, what's that called? beer pong yeah so I use those cups I just fill them up with soil I stick my finger in the dirt I put the seed in there and yeah our onions are doing pretty good I can show you this tomorrow but I just wanted to do a quick video just like give you like an update of what's been going on and like I said if you guys want you know or recommend any video you want me to do just let me know I'll do it I know you want to see my garden just say you want to see my garden okay Make me happy and say you want to see my garden so I can show you my garden. Okay. But if you guys have any questions or anything more about drive away or tow away with Sean and I, don't hesitate to ask a question down below. We do have an Instagram, so you can always hit me up on that. And I have my own Instagram, so you can always message me on there. It's the same name as my YouTube. But that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you want to see more of this lovely face, just let me know. <laughs> Bye, guys. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. Come on, stop recording. <laughs>